Hey everyone, welcome back to my another tutorial. This tutorial will be about object detection in YOLO and using custom data where I'll train it on Counter-Strike Go enemies. I focused on detecting the enemies and their body, bodies and heads. So you'll see everything. I had done this tutorial in the back in the past, but it was with object detection API. So I was confused with FPS, so I decided to make it faster. This is why I used YOLO. And this is much easier right now to use YOLO because we don't need to install all the object detection API where we can face a lot of problems. I here use it only the Keras. From my last tutorial, you probably saw that I used some, I showed you real time detect some something like this. And this is quite interesting script was that I grab my screen using multiprocessing and I detect objects in all of these screen. So I modified the script the same as I did in my past tutorial where I used object detection API. Uh, you can find these tutorials on my webpage. You simply go to by lessons and TensorFlow object detection API. Simply that's quite easy. I can show it to you. You go here to the bottom, start tutorials, and here is all my tutorial list. And I don't know which I was opening. And here is label pictures. This is the way I used to label my enemies. You can watch this video, I don't show this to you right now. And I used the same images as for my API, so I used them here also. And you can see that I have all the classes here. Then terrorist and terrorist head, counter-terrorist and counter-terrorist head. And there is all links to my images with all objects. And this was generated with this kind of scripts. I, I, oh, they probably are already uploaded to GitHub. Check my previous tutorial. I uploaded them here. So you can find it there if you want and anyway what i did i fully trained new model and there here it is you can see all here is all the uh, checkpoints and i can remove them i don't need them anymore stage one and there is my final model and the size is the same as original yolo keras model because we only used use the same darknet model bit but we simply modified last layers and retrained it for us and yeah so you want to see our results okay let's run counter strike go and give it give it a minute to load okay i'll move it in the bottom i using this small screen that you can see the detection screen and this screen and of course small screen the faster the detection is and i don't need this also anymore i think so i using what i'm using 800 by 600 i can use larger but well it's better everything fits in one screen so will be fine okay let's play applying with bots i will choose and i will choose dust 2 harmless for of course no why because this is only experiment and now i should run this real-time detect script so i'll open my common prompt and of course i'll run this as administrator because our p auto guy can't shoot in game if we don't we won't open it as administrator so i can explain a little bit this script for you if you didn't saw this so here i use p auto guy and i disable all the pauses and sleeps in it so my script will be faster i will choose contours okay okay let's move back to script i am measuring fps here is the screen i'm grabbing 
actually here's all the detection stuff it doesn't matter for you and here starts here I grab original screen and here what I do so I will make it larger a little so here I'm using the detection when the detection is made I check how many objects we detected if for example here is terrorist head detected so I'll call uh, my P auto guy to move into his head coordinates it means it's the center of detected object and I use offset here actually I don't remember why I use it but okay leave it as it is and image X offset this is that because of this small gap I'm here and I using this in I axis as you can see this offset and here is my target interval so I wrote the script in the way that while we are targeting we won't shoot but if our uh, target is between 20 pixels in the detected rectangle we only then push the shoot script and because otherwise it always shoots doesn't matter if we targeted to hit or we didn't target it and so on so anyway continuing on this I I made that when we click it we we quit our for loop and we wait for a next detection because when I was not using this break it was for example if it detected six heads of tourists it, it would try to shoot to all of them at once in a one loop so I decided to make it a little bit simpler so if you have a better idea how to make it work better you can play around with it and give me a suggestions under my video or write me to email and so on it doesn't matter and yeah I think that's it we I think we can continue on on the script I'll just run it and of course we don't need it. this window so large I'll just minimize it we don't need this either I won't save it for now okay what's wrong here oh yeah Python Python real-time detect by let's run this it will initialize I'm using it on my GPU so it will be faster than on CPU on CPU might also re receive quite nice speed compared that it's a CPU you will receive one frame per second oh <laughs> that's amazing well on GPU actually you'll see what I'll receive that I won't tell you right now and you will check all the performance I get and I think this will be my last video for now about this shoot shooting of heads and yeah I think here we go we can play and one more thing uh, I, I need to check what I use for my recordings give me a minute and where I'm using which GPU I'm using let me check this okay zero GPU everything fine okay but as I see frames are much smaller because I'm recording anyway let's try this out what we'll see what we'll receive here as you can see it's targeting but something wrong here is with a uh, head it's not tar targeting to the head as you can see so it's a little harder to shoot 
I'm not shooting here. I'm just moving my mouse and everything is done by the bot. All the detection and shooting and so on. I'm just walking around and I see here is full of enemies. Yeah. Shoot him. Shoot. Shoot, shoot. Where? Why are you running? Shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think we need to solve this. I don't want to. I want to shoot to the heads. So let me check the script here. As I said, I'm not sure why it's not shooting to the heads. Let's move down a little. Make it larger. Okay. It might be probably something wrong with offset. So, okay, let me check this out. I'll come back in a moment. So, I'm back here and I made simply the same offsets here. For there, there was a difference between them. And as you can see, just before starting recording, there was 22 frames per second, You usually. And right now it dropped to 16, 15 and so on. But anyway, that's quite nice results and let's see how it works for me. I'll just find few heads to shoot. Okay. I'm not shooting this by myself. I only moving mouse. As you can see, when it sees more than one head, it's quite hard to aim and shoot. But, well, actually you can think what you can improve. Something like giving an object ID so we can know that we are, we could remember the object we saw before and we see now and if the same head is here or not the same. So, well, there is, there might be many ways how we can improve this. And, but actually it's nice that it's kind of working. And yeah, actually I don't know how better I could improve this project. Actually, I made quite a lot from it and learned a lot from it. And I achieved quite nice results. And as you can see, and what else I can do? Um, I don't know. Actually, one way we can improve this is by getting more accurate model. So right now I have around 1000 of images, but we could do something better with if we get another thousand, for example, if we could have two thousand. And for this purpose, I made quite amazing script. And of course, I can show this to you. I will shoot it down right now for you. Okay, I'll shoot it down. Sorry, not this one, this one. Uh, I'll leave the game on. And here is collect XML images script. So actually, I wrote a script here where we show right what file we want to save our images to. And uh, this is my excellent images folder. And yeah, I made this script. And at the end we use two seconds sleep because we don't want to get the same, uh, same objects as usually. And then in here in my code, in this line, you can see that, that I have commented these lines. So here I should 
own command this but I don't want to run this now on the video and what we would receive is this kind of images and here was detected something object here was detected object there is a lot of seconds to wait so here was detected object here was object here was object here was object here was a lot of objects and actually it automate automatically adds um, on everything in XLM images and adds the coordinates for it so here I was used uh, older code where I was showing the accuracy of detection and yeah this might be a faster way how to collect data set so actually we, we can turn this on this line turn this line on and go simply to play a game we shoot uh, many enemies and so on well we collect for example 1000 images and we get a coffee and we check them all if if they get a right detection or or their detection is wrong and so on this way we can improve the speed how fast we can collect these images so yeah I think that's it for this tutorial and this was quite a nice journey with this Counter-Strike GO game and how I used it to make this aimbot and of course with deep learning we can do a lot we could write a reinforcement learning bot and so on this could be much better improved and could play better than a human but well actually i don't want to focus right now on this because this is this is a big journey on long-term project it might take years or even longer and i don't want to spend this time for free on this kind of project i want to learn more so actually I will do one more project where I used to make a capture detection bot and maybe I will make the same bot on on YOLO so in the next tutorial I'll try to write a bot and train a bot on the same data set I used in the past where I showed you how to crack a capture uh, with uh, object detection API so I'll do the same with YOLO you'll see so thank you all for watching this was a nice time to talk with you and play this great game and yeah I hope this was useful for you thank you all for watching like this video subscribe comment if you have any suggestions or questions and see you in the next tutorial goodbye